everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got a slightly different setup here today. I have to admit, it's a little bit strange looking at myself in the camera. Typically, I am looking through the camera to showcase the items that I talk about, but this time I have the camera facing me, so it's a bit awkward for me, but hopefully you enjoy this style and this video. So in this video, I will be showing you my top seven choices for minimalist style handbags. If you've been here before, then you will know that I prefer minimalist aesthetic. Simple designs, clean lines, nothing too overly complicated. I also am an aspiring minimalist when it comes to trying to keep a more tightly curated collection of items that I can truly enjoy and appreciate. I am not a fan of just buying for the sake of buying or having a mountain of things. If you could see my apartment, if I were to give you a 360 view of my apartment, you would see that it's quite simple and it's also quite empty, perhaps a bit boring. Similarly with my wardrobe, very simple, again, maybe boring, but that is kind of the way I go. So if you have very similar style preferences as me, then you may enjoy this video. Now I will say that this video is in partnership with Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake is a handbag company based here in New York, and I love supporting New York brands in particular because as a native New Yorker, I just, you know, I feel a great affinity towards New York based brands. And I also like to share with you brands and items that are not as known known out there, but have high quality and good prices so that you can also check them out. So let's get started. The very first bag I'm going to show you is my Madewell Small Transport Crossbody Bag. I did a whole video on this bag. In fact, I did probably dedicated videos on every single one of the bags I'll be showing you today. This one here is the least expensive from the lineup. This one is quite I don't want to say old, but it's been loved and aged uh, at least five years, I want to say I've had this bag. This is a bestseller with Madewell, continues to be a bestseller. It's vegetable tanned leather, gets beautiful rich patina over time. As you can see, the handles are quite soft and supple. I feel like, again, the more you use this kind of bag, the more just beautiful and aged it gets. This one is called the English Saddle Color. It's also available in black. Very simple interior, all leather. You have one zip compartment here, large enough to put your bills or small slim items that you'd like to keep extra secure. Then you have this crossbody strap and it is entirely removable as you can see. But let me show you how buttery and soft, again, how supple this leather is. So very comfortable on the shoulder. It's got this kind of brass hardware and you just very easily Clip it onto the inside and these swivel so you don't have to fuss over how you clip it. You just clip it really anywhere and voila, you've got your shoulder strap, crossbody strap. It is adjustable for any height and very light. By the way, in this video, I will be weighing all of the bags. I won't bother with measurements because you can easily find the measurements on the websites and the descriptions, but I find that companies don't often indicate the weight of bags. And as a stickler for weight, I prefer lightweight, comfortable bags. I don't like heavy bags. I'm going to go ahead and weigh each of these bags for you towards the end. I will also do mod shots for you towards the end. So here you see some corner wear again because it's been quite a few years and I have not babied this bag whatsoever, but it's holding up beautifully. The price on this bag currently is $128. This front pocket here is quite convenient. You can plop your phone if you want easy access or anything else you need quick access to, hand sanitizers, metro card, etc. as well. So really simple design. I, I personally love this. I also have the larger version, but I prefer this small, the small size. Okay, moving on to the second bag. This little cutie here you will have seen on my channel before. This is the Coach Rambler 16, the mini size. It's got beautiful glove tanned leather, which Coach is so well known for. This is from the Coach Originals line. The stitching is absolutely beautiful. The leather is really soft and supple. I'm a very 
tactile oriented person so it has to feel nice otherwise it doesn't work for me I love that the turn lock is very simple there's no branding no logo Ta -da! it says here original glove tanned leather small little pocket oh what is that oh I have an extra little mask in here inside has the ox blood lining as well as the fabric lining down here small little pocket and a zipped compartment as well to keep your bills or cards secure and then this is actually how I store the bag I roll up the strap and I put it inside but here is the strap completely removable and adjustable and if you think it's quite fussy to remove the strap to store it it's actually not I'll show you right now push it through it actually goes on very very easily and when I travel and pack this bag I store it like that because I don't want the bag to get crushed and I also don't want the strap to push against the leather and possibly indent it so ta-da there you have her so cute I actually purchased my mom the coach Cassie you probably saw my unboxing if you are a regular here and in fact she's given it back to me unused still wrapped um, saying that she wanted the coach rambler 16 instead after seeing this so I went ahead and bought another one for her and she uses it for her errands super lightweight as well very easy just and if you're curious, yes, my phone does fit in here. All of these bags I'm showing you fits all of my essentials. It does fit horizontally. Let me quickly show you. So this is my plus size, iPhone plus size case, and there you have it. And then if you wanted it to be easier to access, you can also put it upright in the back and it kind of sits against your body. Okay, and this one here, retails for $295 okay next bag is from Teddy Blake again I am partnering with them for this video this video was all my idea but I was happy to partner with them as I've recently discovered Teddy Blake again New York based brand so I love it as a New Yorker this beautiful Sarah Vitello bag was gifted to me a few months back this color it's so pretty it's like a really soft feminine pink I feel like I'm vibing pink so I've got my pink card oh I didn't so I'm sitting on my pink velvet chair okay that was not intentional but I'm totally vibing pink right now it's got this really pretty shiny gold hardware it's kind of like this light gold hardware and here you have this adjustable strap so for any height and you've got the extra tabs here I didn't mention that on the other bags but it is a deal breaker for me if there's not enough leather tabs holding down the loose end of the strap because then over time the strap will curl and it gets to be a little bit untidy looking so I really like this sort of clean tidy look super cute and I love this opening so this is the seven inch Sarah Vitello. So this is the smaller size. There's a larger size and there's an array of colors. I was so tempted to go for a neutral because they have uh, black and navy and gray, uh, gray, I believe. I saw a bunch of earth tones, lots of pops of color, lots of pastels, but ultimately this one spoke to me the most because I don't have a pink bag and I feel like this really soft, delicate shape went really well with this soft color and so I am very excited to wear this especially in the spring and summer seasons so let me open this up for you very simple opening as you can see quite secure as well and stuffing out I keep it stuffed here's a very simple interior the stitch work on this is quite lovely as you can see someone commented in my original unboxing video that it looked like it was hand stitched it's quite neat 
And by the way, all of the Teddy Blake bags are made in Italy. So you have the Italian craftsmanship, but at a very affordable price, in my opinion, for this bag. So this currently retails for $380, but I think they're having a sale because recently I went back onto their website and I saw it for like $200, which is a great price for Italian leather, all calfskin, beautiful color options. The branding here, Teddy Blake New York, is on the back, which I prefer. As you can see, the other bags that I showed you so far, there was no branding. I just think that it's more subtle and more discreet that way. I'm tempted to just put this on right now to show you, but I'll save the mod shots towards the end of the video so I can do them back to back. But let me show you in terms of sizing. So here again, oh, pink again. I am totally vibing on the pink stuff, my goodness. So this is, again, my iPhone Plus size. And I showed this in my or original unboxing. You can put it in horizontally, it goes in quite well. Or you can also stand it up vertically. And it's kind of flopping around because there's actually no phone in here as I'm filming with my phone, but you get the point. And it doesn't get in the way of the flap. It still closes beautifully and works quite nicely. Another thing I really like about this bag is that I feel like it's lesser known. There are some really popular Teddy Blake bags out there, but this one I haven't seen. I haven't seen this on social media. I haven't seen it anywhere on YouTube. I haven't seen it on the streets. I feel like it's just, I don't know, lesser known. And I, I like that. I like that. In general, I just like when I feel I have something that is not everywhere. Um, I mean, that's not the biggest factor when choosing an item. You just want to love it, right? And just um, find something that really makes you happy. But I also love the fact that I don't see this everywhere and that it's just quite understated and really pretty. Okay, so moving on. This is a bag that I featured very early on when I first started my YouTube channel. It is from Barcelona, Spain. Here's the name. I won't even try to pronounce it because I will butcher it. But I was traveling with my girlfriends in Barcelona a couple of years ago and I had done some research and this adorable little handbag shop popped up and I got this beautiful bag. This is called the ABCD small book bag because it looks like a book look at it from the side so many of you saw this on my channel early on and asked me about it it's a gorgeous deep forest green color with this really intricate detailing and yeah it looks like a book like if you were to see this on a shelf very simple design once again magnetic opening and very simple Kind of like the Teddy Blake, just very simple, no frills, I love it. So this one as well has a long crossbody strap, it is adjustable. I've seen on their website where you can shorten it quite a bit and have it sort of like hand carried, which is really, really cute as well. And this comes in a variety of different colors. I've seen it in black, I've seen it in like a caramel color. I think they also had it in navy, but I actually went into the shop. It was so so adorable and it just looked like it looked like a little workshop actually and the pieces there are all very much minimalist style. So this one here retails for 325 euros. So translated to US dollars, it's going to be in the ballpark of about $400, I would say. But they do ship to the US and this is all vegetable tanned cow leather. So moving on, and this too definitely fits my essentials as well as my phone. Okay, now we're going to jump in terms of price point. So for those of you who have more generous budgets, you've got Celine here. This one I purchased in Paris, again, while traveling with my girlfriends, the same girlfriends that I went to Barcelona with. So this is the trio in navy lambskin. You can see the beauty of the trio is the three separate zippered compartments. Very, very simple, very chic. It's all lambskin, so it's a, going to be a little bit more delicate in terms of like wrinkles and scratches, but I've had this for 
well, let's see, maybe three or four years now, I want to say, and it's holding up fine, and I don't really fuss about it too much. It has a long crossbody strap as well that is attached. It has the adjustable settings, and again, you'll see it's got the multiple tabs so that it keeps it really tidy. So you have one, two, three. I have some styrofoam here to keep it tidy. So on the inside is this beautiful gray, like it feels like wool or felt. It's very nice to the touch. Gold hardware. This is the large size. There's also the smaller size. And this one currently retails for $1,400. The smaller size retails for $12.50 and there are an array of colors available for this as well. Now it does have some branding here. It says Celine Paris on the front. If you don't like that, you can simply turn it around and have an even more understated look and have the logo or the branding be against your body. I think this is a simply beautiful bag, very, very stylish and chic and Quite underrated actually. I think Celine in general is quite underrated in the designer world. Okay, moving on, we are creeping into higher price points. This is going to be from Hermes, my one and only Hermes bag, which is more than enough for me. So this is my beautiful mini Eveline, and this here is actually the front. So here's the snap. And this is in the gold with gold hardware, super shiny, really beautiful, bright gold hardware. So soft and smushy. The inside has the beautiful raw leather lining. It is so soft to the touch, all one compartment. And then in the back, you have the perforated H. You can kind of see through. And if you don't know the history of Hermes, there is quite uh, an equestrian history and story behind their brand. But for this Eveline style, it was created to hold the equipment or the supplies for horses, like their brushes and such. And so the perforation is to help air it out. And for me, this is just lovely because I am fascinated by horses. They are one of my favorite animals. And when I was in college, I did horseback riding and I took care of horses. It was just such a beautiful experience. Not something I can do here in Manhattan anymore, but it was so lovely when I was a college student. So it just means a lot to me. The contrast stitching is absolutely gorgeous. And then here in the separate small dust bag is the strap. And the strap it is so comfortable. Anytime you have a wide strap like this, it's so, so comfortable. Again, the gold hardware, swivel, lobster clasps. It says here somewhere the stamping. Uh, let's see. Hermes Paris, Paris made in France. And it is not adjustable, okay? It is removable, but it is not adjustable. So depending on your height, it may hit you at the right spot or not. Although I have to say I've seen this bag on really petite women and I've also seen it on taller, larger women and it seems to work fine for nearly everybody. So you just clip this on and voila, here you go. So pretty. And this one here, when I purchased it, it was $1,800 and I know there is word on the street that Hermes is increasing their prices just along with every other designer it seems out there. I recently did videos on the Louis Vuitton price increases as well as the Chanel price increases that happened very recently so this may go up but as far as when I purchased this late last year in 2020 it was $1,800. And then last but not least is another bag from Celine. This is the seventh bag I'm showing you. And that is da -da -da -da, my Celine classic box bag in the smooth calfskin with the aged gold hardware. This one here retails for $39.50. I purchased this pre-loved for well under 3000 for sure. So that was a great deal. I got this in excellent condition from Fashion File. 
and you can see this is the back very very simple I've done a number of videos on this bag I feel like it is so just chic and simple and elegant and understated there's no branding except for when you open here very subtle the inside is lined with lambskin so it is so buttery soft I love the compartments very reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton Bouchette Matisse in fact I did a comparison video of those two this bag is going to be larger and also heavier than the other bags that I featured but nonetheless I love it I love it love it love it So if this size retails for $39.50 currently, there's also the teen size that was more recently introduced, and that one is $3,400, it's slightly smaller, and then you have the small size, which is even smaller, and that is currently going for $3,100. So I shared with you two Celine bags. I am very much a fan of the old Celine bags from the Phoebe Philo era not really vibing with the newer Celine, so I'm probably going to stop at these, but love this so very much. It is adjustable. It is also entirely removable, surprisingly, but I don't know that you can really use this without a strap. It's quite hefty. I guess you can tuck it under your arm if you wanted to use it as a larger sized clutch. Um, but this one, for some reason, I like to wear it a little higher up. I feel like it looks good that way versus hitting my hips. So uh, hopefully I can show you in the upcoming mod shots. Okay, so I'm going to move now to weighing each of the handbags and showing you side-by-side -side comparisons. And then, like I said, I will finish off with the mod shots at the end. Okay, so let's start with the very first bag, which was the Madewell Small Transport Crossbody. And that's coming in at 14.6 ounces, so under a pound, including the strap, which is tucked inside. So that is a really great weight, super, super light, and very comfortable, as I mentioned. Then moving on to the Coach Rambler 16. This one here is even lighter. This one's coming in at 11.4 ounces. So again, well under a pound, beautiful. 11.4 ounces is perfect. Then you've got this beautiful Teddy Blake bag in this gorgeous rounded silhouette with the pink. Okay, this one as well is coming under one pound I love this it's beautiful so this is 11.6 ounces super light super comfortable as well here we've got the Iriarte book bag let me just get the strap this too under a pound 12.1 ounces I am so excited. There's nothing like a beautiful, well-made bag that's functional and light because comfort is everything. Then you've got the Celine Trio. I'm going to have to lay this down. So this one is also 11.3 ounces, well under a pound again. You see, you see a trend here. Wow. Light bags, clean lines, minimalist style. I guess those are the things that I gravitate towards. Then you've got the Hermes Mini Eveline. Again, I'll lay this down as well. Maybe I should do it like that. Wait, this can't be right. 8.7 ounces? Let me try. Yeah, this is super light, 8.7 ounces. It's like half a pound almost. Wow, super light, no wonder it's so comfortable. And then lastly is the Celine Classic Box. I told you this is on the heavier side. It's the Mama Jama here of the lineup. Yes, it's one pound, 11.7 ounces. So it is definitely over a pound. It is inching towards two pounds. If you have watched my other videos where I weigh my handbags, you'll know that two pounds is my cutoff. I do not wear any handbags that are more than two pounds when they're empty. So this meets my criteria. 
and still is within the two pound uh, threshold. So very good, very good. Now let's move on to mod chats. Okay, so in the same order, starting with the Madewell Transport crossbody bag. Here it is handheld. And with the strap. Oh, I should probably take off my, my cardigan here, but you can see, very comfortable. Okay. My Coach Rambler 16 mini. Here it is on one shoulder. Crossbody. Then my Teddy Blake Sarah Vitello bag in the seven inch size. Super pretty. Oh my gosh. With this, the pink on pink, I am loving it. Oh my gosh. I've not tried this with this outfit before. It's so pretty. What do you guys think? Then my Iriarte book bag from Barcelona. Okay. And then on the shoulder or on the crossbody. Quite bulky with all these layers, but I hope this is helpful. Then my Celine Trio in the large size navy lambskin. Beautiful. I love how it sits against the body. Then the Hermes Mini Evelyn or TPM size. For reference, I am about five feet, five and a half inches tall. I should have said that earlier. And then last but not least, my Celine Classic box bag in the medium size, black calfskin. This is the smooth calfskin. There's also the liege, I didn't mention that earlier, which has the textured ridges. This bag in particular I like to wear crossbody and a lot of times I will make it shorter and have it higher up. And that's it! So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this new setup. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you are new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks so much. Till next time. Bye-bye.